Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Karina from Paradium Thrifts. If you're new here, welcome. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and I also own my own brick and mortar consignment store. Today is December 1st and you guys know what that means. It is the first day of Vlogmas. If you guys don't know what Vlogmas is, it is a tradition on YouTube for um, content creators to create a video every single day leading up to Christmas. I did this last year, so if you guys wanna check out some of those videos, I will link the playlist up here. But this year, I decided to do a little bit of a spin on it. I, last year was my first time trying or attempting Vlogmas, and it was a little bit of a struggle. So to kind of make it a little bit easier this year, every video that I post in this Vlogmas 2022 series is going to be focused on a specific topic. So I'm either going to grab questions from you guys or just topics that I want to talk about, and I'm going to focus a whole video on that. It's not always going to be a sit-down video. Sometimes I might take you out to the thrift store or show you around my office or just take you on Christmassy adventures um, but I would but I thought it would be a good idea to incorporate some reselling tips in all of these videos so that you guys can learn a little bit while we hang out as well so if you guys don't want to miss out on this year's vlogmas make sure you are hitting that red subscribe button down below and you're also hitting that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I post a video I also share on my Instagram account every time I upload so make sure you're following me over there same handle at per diem thrift so like I said I'm going to be answering questions from you guys and just general reselling questions in each of my videos so if you have something specific that you want me to talk about make sure you're leaving it down in the comments below or message me on Instagram and I will add it to my list of potential topics that I'll be talking about during per diem thriftsmas so today's video as you can probably tell by the title is going to be a store tour I don't know if I've officially done this already I've had my store for a little over seven months now um, and I've shown you kind of sneak peeks of it but I have moved my store around um, since the last time that I've showed you so I'm gonna do like an official walkthrough and kind of show you guys the layout of my store this was requested or asked by buys and flips on Instagram so shout out to you thank you for giving me my first video idea and um, yeah let's just go ahead and get into it so to give you guys a little bit of a background I live in the Dallas Oregon which is a small town about an hour and a half east of Portland right on the Columbia River Gorge which is the river that separates Oregon from Washington but I live in the small town Town, and I used to run all my reselling business out of my house until I started coming to this yoga studio which is called Studio Fit as you can see here um, and I befriended the owner and a couple months into me being a member here she offered me space to rent downstairs to turn into my store so that's why I have my store where it is and I thought I would just kind of show you guys how you walk in what it looks like and all of that I always like to have a really cute outfit on this little mannequin right here and then I have this board honestly all of the fixtures that I have in my store were all thrifted there was a thrift store it was actually a Salvation Army that was in town but a couple months ago they went out of business and they were selling all of their fixtures and some of their other things like their mannequins and that's where I got a bunch of my stuff if you guys are ever looking for racks or mannequins or any kind of fixtures Textures, definitely look out for store closing opportunities because that's where you can definitely get it the cheapest I was able to get about eight of these double racks right here for a steal and I have some other kinds of racks that I will show you in a little bit um, and I also got those from another boutique in town that just wasn't using them anymore so reach out to other business owners reach out to other boutiques potential stores that are closing to get 
equipment like that so coming down from the stairs this is what you see I have a couple displays here so I have this one like I mentioned and then coming over to this side of the wall I like to have two little outfits here and usually with some shoes having outfits displayed like this is my favorite thing to do I love styling mannequins I love creating these outfits and when I can style a piece and people can see it kind of in an outfit it is way more likely for that item to sell so I'm more likely to pick up things that I wouldn't necessarily pick up for Poshmark or to resell online um, because I can actually show how it moves how it feels how it fits and show different options for styling and before we go into the rest of my show, if you guys have been following me, you probably know this about me already, but I also teach yoga trapeze, which is the other part of this basement over here. So you can see some of the slings here. I have seven um, spaces open for students, and then I have my own sling over there. I teach this class as well on Monday and Wednesday nights. It is so much fun. Like if I have downtime in my store, I just come over here and hang out. Like literally hang out in my trapeze. Um, but I think it's a really fun thing to talk about when people come down. It's like the first thing that they see. And I'm able to kind of tell them about my class, promote that, and then obviously turn them around and promote them to my store as well. All right, so from here, you come into this main section. I have a few of the double racks that I was talking about over here. Um, so this first one here is jackets, and then I have jeans, and then that back one over there is shorts, skirts, other pants, and athletic wear on the other side. And then over here are my racks. So I have this rack here. These are both circle racks and they're all divided by size. So as you can see on this, it has like the little tags. I just get those off of Amazon and it helps keep it really organized in here. Um, moving over to this side, we have fitting rooms, which is amazing. These were already here when I moved in and it was part of the reason why I was offered this place because it was just like the perfect space to have some sort of clothing store. So the yoga studio also sends some of their customers down here to change as well um, and try on their stuff, which is great because people who might not know that I'm down here will want to try something on and then possibly go shopping in my store too. We're all very supportive of each other and just try to help each other make as many sales as we can. Um, but yeah, super, super thankful about these. Let me show you guys what's inside of the fitting rooms. So it's not too crazy in here. Sorry for my awkward setup. You're on a whole tripod. <laughs> but I have this mirror which I got at Marshall's. Um, I wanted a bigger one, but this space is so small that I figured this would be fine. Um, but yes, this stands on by itself, but I also just have it kind of resting against the wall. This over here, I actually got this off of Poshmark. It's a clothing rat hook so people can hang all their clothes on there and it says babe which is I think just adorable um, and then I have this little stool in here I got this off of Facebook marketplace I believe I found two of them for like ten dollars and then I just painted them black and then I have this rug or this little like carpet which I got at Marshall's as well coming into the other one it's pretty much the same thing but the rug is different um, yeah, so I just got a different rug. I couldn't find matching ones, but it has the same thing. Oh, there's a hanger on the floor. I also got this babe sign off of Poshmark. It's originally from Urban Outfitters, and it surprisingly holds a lot of weight. Um, these curtains I got off of Amazon. They're just black velvet curtains. And then here are a couple more displays. So we have more mannequins, which I also got from that thrift store that was closing. I have somebody who's been coming in to dress these mannequins for me and to put all of my displays up on the wall. Um, so she does an excellent job and it helps save me a lot of time, even though I do really enjoy um, making those. It just helps me clear up some time so that I can do some other things. Coming into the back section of my store, um, I have this whole rack here and this is all like brand new with tag stuff. I just put that out um, for this past weekend which was Black Friday because I wanted people to have like options that they could gift. So I think having this during the holiday season is going to be a great place so I can just kind of show people that I do have like new stuff that they can gift. Um, but I also promote just shopping secondhand as well for presents. This rack here is all of my longer pieces, dresses rompers jumpsuits all of that and then um, I got this rack off of 
Facebook Marketplace as well. I actually bought like 10 of them originally. It was a woman who was selling LuLaRoe and um, it was when like LuLaRoe went bankrupt or whatever, like when it first went out. It was when I first moved here to the Dallas about three years ago and um, she was just getting rid of all of her equipment and stuff to sell LuLaRoe so I just snagged all of that. Great deal again. Um, and then if you guys are curious, I don't know if it's gonna show up on here because of the lighting, but I have this right here. It says Per Diem Thrifts. I'll show a picture of it so you can see it better. It's a neon light. I got it off of Amazon. It is my absolute favorite thing. It was definitely an investment. It is not necessary whatsoever, but if you're extra and you just want a personalized touch of your closet name or of your business name, I get so many compliments on it and people absolutely love it so i would definitely check that out i'll try to link all of these things or what i can in the description box to help you guys out if you have any questions of course just send me a message or comment down below okay now i'm gonna move over here to where all my shoes are my shoes actually used to be against that other wall where the dresses were but i recently moved them because i think it just makes it feel a little bit more open um and just nice so these shelves i actually got at ikea they were very affordable. I want to say they were around 20, between 20 to $30 each. Um, they're not the best, but I didn't want to really buy something huge for this space because I don't see myself staying here forever. I hope to eventually move to like a street level place and that I'll be able to rent on my own. Um, so I didn't want to buy too many things that were like only for this place. I figured I can still utilize these if I do move into a new space or I can sell them and find something else. But this is how I keep all my shoes. I try to keep them sized, but I don't make any promises that it's gonna remain that way. Same with the rest of my store. Usually it's just one person working at a time, so um, I don't you know, enforce that as much as like a typical retail store does. I remember when I worked at Zara, one of our closing tasks was to make sure everything was sized and spaced properly, and I hated that so much. Um, I still have some of those habits that I keep in my store, but for the most part, especially with such a small space, um, I don't do it too much. But I think if I would ever like expand, I would get a little bit back into that tediousness of it all. So the last part of my show that I want to talk about is going to be this bad boy right here. This is also a thrifted find, but it's originally from Ikea. It's just a cabinet, honestly. And everyone was kind of giving me shit because it's so tall and I'm so short. So I always end up standing on a chair when I'm behind it so that I can see things. But um, I am going to replace this when I do move and get something better. I was kind of in a time crunch, so I was just looking for something that would work. And I was originally going to... Um, maybe tile this or like put something on the outsides and I didn't end up doing that. I just found this like moon phases thing. I think I got this at Urban Outfitters um, to try to decorate it a little bit and it works fine honestly, um, but I definitely want to get something a little bit bigger if I move into a bigger space because whenever people bring in their consignment items, I'm literally using this little, this little thing right here which I also found at Goodwill and like a chair and I try to kind of sort items that way and it's just not enough space so I'm definitely going to change that um, coming over here it's a little dark so I apologize so this is kind of like my back area it's nothing crazy um, I got this hanging rack at that thrift store as well so I can hang all my hangers on there I have another one too I just haven't needed it so far um, I have this jewelry thing I got this at Marshall's they have so many jewelry holders there and they have so many different styles so I was thankful for that um, I have my iPad of course which I use for my register, I have my card reader and a uh, barcode scanner. This is all through Shopify because I use Shopify as my POS and also as my website. Um, so that is super helpful. I just charge it at night and I leave it there. This was a gift actually from one of my friends who owns a another business in town. Um, she had an extra one of these cash drawers so she let me just take it and I was so thankful because these can be pretty pricey as well. It's not connected through Bluetooth or anything so I just have a key in here so that I can um, open that up. And then down here, it's such a mess, I apologize. Um, this is just kind of like back storage. 
This is actually supposed to be the front of the cabinet, but I use it as my storage down here. And then I have bags on this side and tap shoes. <laughs> So that's it for the main store walkthrough. I thought I'd also, I mean, I might as well, since I'm already giving you guys a little bit of a tour, show you my office again. I will warn you that I did not clean it. I thought about it. I was like, hmm, maybe I should clean my office before I show it to them. But then I was like, mm, that wouldn't be authentic because my office is rarely ever cleaned. Um, I'm actually gonna ask my fiance to come in and help me clean it because he is like expert cleaner um, and I, struggle deeply in that section but anyway this is my office or this is one half of it as you can see on this side is my desk so this is a standing desk that I was gifted by flexi spot um, I will tag them down below as well so a standing desk auto is pretty much an automatic desk that can move up and down I love this because a lot of the time when I'm working whether I'm like tagging something or uploading inventory or shipping I'm moving around a lot and I hate sitting down and then standing back up so I love just having it at standing level so that I can just do all the things get it done super quick I absolutely love it again it's not one of those things that are like crucial critical necessary things that you need in your business but they help a lot um, and then I have multiple racks. So this is my main rack. If you guys have ever watched one of my whatnot shows or even some of my hauls here on YouTube, this is the background that I use. Um, my fiance tufted this rug for me. So this is all a rug and I just use it as wall art. Um, this is where I like to keep my items that I'm going to be doing in my live shows. And I also process new inventory on here as well. Um, this over here is inventory that either does not fit into my bins or um, stuff that I need to process and have just been kind of slacking on. This right here is supposed to be my shipping station, but I kind of use it for a bunch of things and <laughs> it is definitely a mess right now. Um, there are, I'm not gonna lie, multiple old coffee cups in here and I have to find my coffee cup that I'm currently drinking out of so I don't accidentally pick up like an old coffee cup because that would be gross. Anyway, <laughs> moving on to here. Sorry the floor is so dirty, but this is all inventory that I need to process. So these here are bins of consignment client stuff. I've already looked through them and made sure that I want to sell those in my store. I just haven't hung them and tagged them and all that. That's why they have these little pink sticky notes on them so I can differentiate what belongs to who. This over here is my Poshmark inventory. This also, I need to do a really thorough like decluttering kind of like going through my inventory making sure everything's listed consolidating through boxes and all of that because it is a hot mess right now um and then <laughs> moving over here this is more inventory that i actually need to photograph it's gonna go on to poshmark and then of course my lovely light box you guys have seen that a few times um but yeah that's pretty much all that is inside of my office let me come over here and give you a full tour oh i lied there's this too so i have this and this is where i keep all my shoes that i sell online and some like those are a little bit more like nicer stuff that i just want to keep hidden away but yeah, this is an overview of my back office. I've definitely taken over more space than I was supposed to in here. And I'm super thankful for Studio Fit and my best friend Hannah for letting me do all of this. Um, here's another little sneak peek. This is kind of like a new thing that's happened. But if you guys don't know, I mentioned it earlier with my sign. Charlie, my fiance, he tufts rugs. So he has a gun this guy right here not an actual gun but this is a rug tufting gun and he can make custom rugs he kind of took a little bit of a break but he's back at it so i wanted to show you guys something that he just made for me it's currently drying but this is obviously my one true love drake and he made this for me yesterday these are some of his other pieces that he's done and he just does like a whole bunch of things. These are a lot of like his old pieces that he was practicing with. I asked him to make me a Deathly Hollows, and he made a couple of them. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed. If you guys are ever interested in getting a custom rug, whether it's your logo or you want to gift something to somebody, just shoot me a message and I will give you his Instagram so you can kind of talk about it. He can do any color here. So these are all of his 
yarns that he uses to create his masterpieces and it's just such a fun and like creative thoughtful outlet and gift that you can give to somebody um but yeah anyway <laughs> that's the end of that tangent thank you guys so much for watching this video i am really excited for vlogmas or sorry for per diem thriftsmas and to get all of these videos out for you guys again if there's something that you guys want me to talk about specifically please let me know i would love to hear from you and hear what you guys want to talk about um but yeah i will be on here hopefully fingers crossed that i can do it this year every single day from now until christmas so my videos might not be super long each time but they will be fun and i'm really excited to just kind of celebrate this season with you guys and hang out all right that is it again make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and turn on those notifications so you guys don't miss any of my videos this season and i will see you guys tomorrow for another video bye